today. I hope everybody's doing great. Oh, no, Professor, we miss them so much. That's right, so we miss everybody. So since we're here today, Professor, we prepared something special for them. Ooh, what's special, Professor? So, Professor, what comes in your mind when you hear the word spooky? Hmm, I guess. Uh, so we got pumpkins in here, um, I guess. Halloween? That's right, Professor. So we're going to have Halloween experiments. But oh, I'm excited. I'm excited as well. But before we begin, let me ask the kids first. Are you ready? They're ready, Professor. Are you ready to start? He seems to be excited. He seems to be excited. So before we begin our experiment for the our spooky experiment for today, we would like to introduce ourselves first. My name is Professor Spark. And I'm Professor Hydro. And we are from the Nutty Scientists. Alright, so kids, I hope everybody enjoys the experiment we prepared for them. Alright? Are you ready, ready, Professor? I am. So kids, are you ready? And there sure is. Alright, so let's begin. Alright. Alright. So, for our first experiment, we're gonna inflate this balloon without blowing up air inside. Is that possible, Professor? Of course! I'm a scientist! Alright, so shall we do it? Yeah, of course! Let's begin! Okay, start! Now, we're gonna use two bottles. Thanks so much, Professor! And I'm gonna hand you over a balloon for you. Me. Alright! Now, we're gonna, we're gonna put something inside the balloon. Okay, so we're gonna use a funnel. There you go. We're gonna attach it. Then we're gonna fill it up with over ingredient. Okay, now this is for you, Professor. Thank you so much, Professor. I already filled up mine. Okay, now for our second ingredient, we have this liquid. There you go. Okay. So, what shall we do with the liquid, Professor? We're gonna put it inside the bottle. Alright, so shall right. we do it? Ready? 3, 2, 1. We have to be careful so we don't make any mess. Okay? There you go, I'm done. I'm done? Okay, let's put this aside. Now, we're gonna attach the balloon into the mouth of the bottle. Ready? Stretch the neck of the balloon. Stretch it. There you go, Professor. And 3, 2, 1. Okay. There you go. Ready? So, what's the next step? We're gonna tilt the balloon downwards. Okay? Alright. 3, 2, 1. You're right, Professor. It's possible. Of course, Professor. There you go. So, what happened to the balloon? It filled up itself. There you go. So, the balloon is inflating. But, is that it, Professor? Yeah. Why? That's it? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. So, actually, Professor, I prepared a level up version. Level up version of this experiment. A little bit of perfect, I think this is the better one. Actually, I have something here. Okay. So, thank you so much for this, Professor. Okay, we're just gonna put this on You the are right, you're able to inflate it and fill it up with air, but however, Professor, this is what I prepared for you and for everybody. So we already have something inside, Professor. Now, why don't you put the funnel in here. There you go. And then our next ingredient, we're going to add some water. Right? So let's pour in the water. Just a little amount. There you go, Professor. Nothing special yet. Because we're still missing one more ingredient. So let me take this off and set it aside. Now, which color do you like? I have the orange. Uh, Let's have it back. Alright. So, Professor, just like what we did earlier, we have to stretch the neck of the balloon. But before we do that, Professor, safety first, kids. Please don't try yeah, this at home. You have to wear your safety goggles. Do you have your safety goggles, I Professor? Professor. No, Alright, so here yet. is my safety there first. Go. There you go. So, Professor. Stretch the leg of the balloon. Stretching it. Stretch. And then, just like what we did earlier, wrap it 
on the bottle. There you go, bro. Okay, now what? Now at the count of three, we have to pour all the contents of the balloon inside the bottle. And let's see what will happen. Kids, are you ready? Yes. Professor, are you ready? ready. Alright, so ready? Three, two, and one. There you go, Professor. So let's pour everything in. There you go. Done, Professor? Yep. So let's give it a little shake. Shake it. Please don't try this at home, kids. There you go. Safety first. Let's look and waving, Professor. Let's see, let's wait what will happen, Professor. Ooh. Wow! There you go, Professor. So let's shake mine a little bit. Let's it's see what will happen. There you go. <laughs> Just like so it's inflating, Professor. It's inflating, right? Yeah. We use different kinds of ingredients, but That's same right. result. Same, same result. Yes. But Professor, what's special about this? You told me there's something. There is, Professor. Of... It's just that we have to do something with this balloon. What? what? All right. So, how about one missing ingredient, Professor? Actually. I need fire, but before I do this experiment, safety first, everybody, please do not try this at home. So, Professor, are you ready? You okay. asked me what's the difference of what we did earlier, right? Uh -huh. So, I need you to move a little bit backwards okay. for this experiment, alright? So, I'll show you. There you go, Professor. Whoa, it's expanding. Okay, now we'll move that backwards. For everybody's safety, everybody let's move backwards. Are you ready? You might want to cover your ears for this one. Ready? Three, two, and... One more time! There you go, Professor. Whoa! Wow, Professor. That was extreme. So, what happened there? Alright, so thank you for asking, Professor. Actually, what we did on our experiment are both examples of chemical reaction. In which, on our first experiment, Professor, this balloon has carbon dioxide, Professor. Now, we added vinegar and baking powder, and when they combine together, they produce carbon dioxide gas, which will inflate our balloon. There you go. Oh, so, it's possible to inflate the balloon. Without it blowing or without blowing. Agree. Now, Professor. Professor, how, how about, about this one? This the special one. one. Special one. Now, this experiment, what we have inside or what makes our balloon inflated is hydrogen gas, Professor. So we have substances together. When they combine, we produce hydrogen gas, and when we use the fire, we ignited that hydrogen gas and explodes the balloon. God. Did That's you see that one, Professor? That's, oh, That's right. So it proves to us that hydrogen gas is flammable, flammable. Professor. So are you ready for our next experiment? Yes, Professor. Look, look at them. All right. So we this have two different. White. This one's black. There you go, Professor. So we have carbon dioxide gas, and, and this I, one is hydrogen. Gas. Hydrogen gas. There you go, Professor. So ready? I'm ready for our next experiment. All right. So, Professor. Yes. What is our next experiment? So, actually, Professor, Professor, I prepared a drink for everybody. Ooh. Would you like to see that? Sure, Professor. Kids, would you like to see that? All oh, right. So let's begin. Now, I have here a baker, and can everybody observe, Professor? Can you observe what's the color of the liquid inside? It's, it's colorless. Kids, what's the color? It's colorless. Are you sure? Of course, I can see it with the two eyes. Two eyes, colorless. You're certain? Yes, I'm right. sure that. So, Professor, I'll give it to you. Okay. Now, all you have to do is to pour that liquid in our flask. Okay. Are you sure that's colorless? It is. All right. Yeah. So, why don't we pour it here? So, Professor is sure that it's colorless. Kids, are you sure? Am I sure? They're, they're, all right. So, I'm sure they're sure. Very, very certain. Now. I have here another beaker, and this time it also has a liquid inside. Now, observe with our two eyes, Professor. Kids, 
What's the color of the liquid inside? Colorless. Colorless. Alright, so same thing, Professor. We have to combine this to the liquid inside the flask. Now, everybody and Professor, what do you think will happen to the color of the liquid inside? Colorless plus colorless will be... Colorless. Will be colorless. So, why don't you put it here, Professor? There you go. Alright, so kids, what's the color? Colorless. Professor. Sure, let's look at some kids. So, why don't we wait for a while, a little bit, for my trick to work, Professor? Now, why don't you shake it, Professor? Let's shake. Shaking. Shake. Whoa. What? Kids, what's the color now, Professor? Look, it is there you go. So that's my trick for everybody, Professor. So colorless plus colorless is black. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you my trick, Professor. You have a trick as well? Yeah. Alright, so I'm excited for that. I'll turn this black into colorless again. Black to colorless. Let's see. Do you believe that, Professor? Of course, you're a great scientist. Of course. Alright. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready? Now put it in. Ready? In our cylinder. Okay? Three, two. One. Oh, Professor, that's amazing. Now, what color? There you go. So now, we it's have colorless again. again. All right, so from black, we turn into colorless. Colorless. There you go, Professor. Now, why don't I share you what happened here, Lord? Okay, okay Professor. All right. So our trick here is what we call an iodine clock reaction, Professor. Ooh. Now, this experiment. The iodine that is produced during the reaction should turn into color black immediately in the presence of our indicator. But, Professor, however, the acid in the solution prevents this from happening. But once this acid is already used up, the solution turns into black immediately. There you go. So that's our trick for everybody and I hope you like and enjoy it. Is it amazing, Professor? It is amazing, from Professor. From colorless to colorless, we turn it into black. Then black to colorless. Alright, so Let's ready for our next experiment? Okay. So, Professor, do you want to see some ghosts? So, I'm actually kind of scared, Professor, but sure, I guess why Don't not? worry, these ghosts are not scary ghosts. Are you but sure? Yes, I can sure a little bit, but they're kind of bit annoying ghosts. Annoying ghosts? Yes. So they'll terrify everybody? A little bit. A little bit. So, you mentioned that they're here? Yeah, it is haunted bottles. But you cannot are see inside. They, are they inside? Yes. Now, what should we do, Professor, to make them go out? Just remove the lid, then they'll go. Alright, so, can you ask the kids first? Alright, kids, would you like to see some ghosts? I really want to see So some brave, ghosts. so yeah. brave, Professor. How about you? Yes. Uh, yes, we quite not sure. But anyway, Professor, right. let's release the ghost. But first, we need to wear some safety glasses. Safety goggles. Professor, whoop. check. Check. Okay. Alright, so what should we do, Professor? We hold the bottle. We hold the bottle where the ghost is inside. Okay, then we remove the lid. And we count remove, out of three. remove the lid. Okay. Are you sure? Then we move back a little. We move back a little bit. So we okay. have to remove the lid. Remove the lid. Remove the lid. And move back. Alright. Are you ready? So, ready, kids? Ready, Professor? In three, three, two, two, and one. one. That's a lot of ghosts, Professor. Oh, oh, professor, they're getting away. Oh, oh, Professor! We have to catch them. Oh, they have to get away. They're gone. Ah. Oh, no. Professor! What do we told do? me to open the bottle. All the ghosts escape. No, what happened then, Professor? Alright, so we feed the ghosts. Well, Professor, actually, what happened here is that before the experiment began, we already added the liquid inside. Now, when our catalyst that's wrapped in a tissue paper comes in contact with the liquid, it resulted into an exothermic reaction. Once again, we call them exothermic reaction, wherein all their heat is Released. Ooh, That's right, Professor. So the smoke that you got, you see, the smoke that you see coming out of the bottle is actually steam and oxygen that came out of the bottle due to 
the reaction. Oh, now I know, Professor. All right. All right. So, kids, are you still having fun with our experiments? Of course, they do, uh, Professor. There we go, Professor. Since they're still having fun and enjoying our experiments, we prepared this experiment for them. So, are you ready to start? I'm ready, Professor. So let's go. So, the first thing that we need to add is the powder. So, we have here two pumpkins. Now, let's add our powder inside. There you go, Professor. There you go. So, let's add in here as well on our second pumpkin. Now, after the powder, we have our color. Can anybody tell me what color is this? It's red. Red. There you go. I think this one is the purple, Professor. So let's add the purple here. Is it purple or red? So let's squeeze it here inside. There you go. That's a lot, Professor. <laughs> That's okay, Professor. So on the second one. Same thing. You have here another color. Let's add it here. Oh, that's, I think that's the red right one. Perfect. That's the red one. So we put purple on the first one, then red on the second one. The next ingredient that we are going to use is a liquid salt. Now let's give it a few squeezes, Professor. There you go. Alright, so we added our liquid salt. Now, I have a spoon. What I'm gonna do is to give it a little stir. So all the ingredients inside are mixed together. It's just like you're baking, Professor. Just like you're baking as a muffin. Or cooking, let's find out. If a muffin will come out of it oh, after muffin. our experiment. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. <laughs> muffins, 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 muffins. There you go, Professor. So, because of that, we're done mixing and stirring just like a witch when stirring. There you go. And last but not least, I have very liquid inside. So, Professor and kids, let's find out what will happen to the pumpkins. Will a muffin come out? Hmm. Fingers crossed, it's a, muff it's a muffin. Go on, muffin. <laughs> there you go. So, we are going to pour the liquid inside. Alright, so ready at the count of three, Professor? Alright. Three, two, two one. and one. There you go, everybody. So let's do it one more time. Okay. It's a fountain. There you go. So we made. It's not a muffin. But it's a beautiful fountain. It's a beautiful fountain. So Professor. Did everybody enjoy that one? Yes. Alright. So we Professor. made a fountain. Yes. I have a level up version of that. You level up? Yes. Sure. Okay. Alright. So let's see that level up so, version of yours. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. Same we're, thing. All so right. I have a color. This time I have a color. Green. Color green. We're gonna put. Color so let's green. add the color green inside the green pumpkin. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna put the blue color. The color blue. Let's add the color blue. There you go. Okay. That's it. That's okay. Okay. Now, also the same ingredient to use. We're gonna put soap. Liquid soap. We could put a lot of liquid soap. Okay. Same thing to our next pumpkin. So let's squeeze in our liquid soap, kids. There you go. Okay. Now, we're gonna add our special ingredient. Oh, what's your special ingredient, Professor? Can you show it to them? This is dry ice. Dry ice. Okay. Alright. So now, that's what you're going to use? Of course, Professor. I'm gonna use Tom for safety, okay? Alright, so safety first, kids. Okay. Let's add it in there. There you go. Alright. I'm gonna put a lot of this. So, Professor is adding a few more. Oops. And the last one, okay. Same thing as you did, we're gonna pour water. Okay, are we ready, Professor? We're ready! Let's see what will happen. Alright. Three. Everybody, let's observe. Two. Two and one. There you go, Professor. It's very bubbly, Professor. It is. Oh, 
Can I pop it? You can pop it. Touch can it. I play with it? Of course you can. See when, when we pop Professor Smoke comes, comes out. out. There you go. This is actually fun. Of course. Yes, both are amazing and fun, yes, professor. professor. So we have here some bubbles. There well, you, you can go. You can touch it too. Play with the bubbles. Woo. One more side, one more side. Let's show you to the camera. Woo. Pop it. Oh. A bigger one, Professor. Look. Let's show it to the kids. Ooh, you're enjoying it, Professor. I there you professor. go, Professor. So, why don't I tell everybody what happened in our experiment? Okay, Professor. So, kids, in this experiment, what we added on the pumpkin is vinegar and baking powder. So, what's inside my picture is vinegar, Professor. Now, we added some food color and liquid salt. Now, once we poured the vinegar, Bubbles come out, or we made a foamy fountain because the carbon dioxide gas that is produced by the vinegar and the baking powder gets trapped in the soap bubbles, Professor. So, going to your experiment, what we have here is dry, dry ice. ice. That is right. So, dry ice, Professor, actually has a negative 78.5 degrees. Celsius of a temperature, that's why it's very, very cold. So as you can see, Professor Hydro used a thong earlier in order to protect his hands. So yes. safety first. first. That's yeah. right. So what we did in here is Professor added some food color and liquid soap. And once done, he poured some water. Now, dry eyes undergoes the process of what we call sublimation, which means Professor and kids from solid, it will turn directly into gas. Yes. Now that gas gets up in the liquid soap. That's why whoop, it we have spooky bubbles. Spooky bubbles, smoky. It's very smoky. There you go, Professor. So, kids, did you enjoy that one? Of course, they did. Oh, I yeah. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. It's very fun. Woo! <laughs> All right. Alright, so before we end the show, Professor, I think we have one surprise for Ooh, Who's that, Professor? Alright, so why don't I get a surprise? Okay, I'll give you a sec. Ooh, Professor! It's Professor Einstein! Yeah, Professor Einstein, everyone! How are you, Professor? How are you, Professor Einstein? Okay, so this... Okay. Guys, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for uh, uh, trying our experiments. We miss you and I hope we meet you soon. And thank you, SM North Edsa, for having us today. Thank you so thank much, you so SM much. North Once Edsa. again, I'm Professor Hydro together with Professor Spark and Professor Einstein. And we are the Nutty Scientists. Hope to see you soon. We miss everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.